This Wednesday we made it to New Zealand. This is the van. I'll give you a van tour in a minute. You're just gonna have to you're just gonna have to embrace the noise of New Zealand. There's always moving. I think I see a kiwi. All right, we're on the road again. On the road. We're to going the fog. To Bay of I Island. Bay of Island. I'm going to see Bay. You're with Bay. I know. Hey guys, my name is Shaylin. I make these videos every Wednesday. I have been traveling full time since 2015, and this Wednesday I am in New Zealand. We made it. We made it here. Uh, last I and Seth just got back from his run. Hey, boo. Last I talked to you, Seth was sick with the flu and I wasn't sure if he was gonna make it to San Francisco. We were going to San Francisco for two days to hang out with my family. After we were with them, we were about to get on an 11 hour flight. When we were in the airport, I was just making myself nervous. I was online, I was trying to finish my emails, catch up with everything, get everything done, and I started to get an upset stomach. Seth, I'm fine. It's totally fine. I feel fine. This is about to be the worst 11 hours of my life. Well, this is it. I mean, there's no turning back now. I'm about to get the flu on this 11 hour flight. I decided I'm gonna take some Dramamine. I'm just gonna try and fall asleep on this flight, get rid of my nausea. Seth took a NyQuil and we took a nine and a half hour nap. I don't know if there's anything better on an 11 hour flight. I think it's probably the best thing ever. I woke up and checked that we had two hours until we got there. And when Seth woke up, oh man, we're still flying. Well, and I was like, there's only two hours left. And he likes to do this thing in the morning where he's like, it's 11 o'clock when really it's 7 a.m. And so he was like, are you serious? Really, is there only two hours? And I was like, I am so serious. This is the greatest thing ever. The flight was perfect. We left at 10 p.m., got this nine and a half hour sleep, and then it was like 6 a.m. in Fiji. So he's like, I don't even think we're gonna get jet lag. Now it's 6 a.m., we just had a full night's sleep. This is great. He soon ate his words. <laughs> we got to Auckland and we stayed in a hotel for two nights with credit card points. Those come in handy, so get yourself a credit card, get yourself some points, get yourself a hotel in Auckland. Auckland, I learned, it's not Auckland. I was saying that in the last video. Somebody polite, politely re like, told me in the last video, so thank you. Uh, and then the van, right here, was delivered to us, and we checked it out, we were like, yep, 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 it's got running water, it's got a toilet, <laughs> which Seth told me we're never using, okay? And a stove, so we're about to meal prep, and get all that in order. Now we've got this van, Savannah. I'm gonna leave her YouTube channel above. She is from New Zealand and is now in Europe traveling. We just missed each other, but she hooked me up with this van. It was a friend of a friend and it's literally perfect. It's making my van in California look a little sad. We're not getting very fantastic service because we're pretty far north. We're, we're at this furthest point north that we could be. If you follow me on Instagram, I did a poll for Dan the Van or Dory. And last I saw, Dory was winning, which is appropriate name because it's been raining so much here that the roads were flooded. So we had to go through the river and I was like, oh, Seth, I don't know about this. And he's like, Shayla, we're fine. And I was like, just keep swimming. <laughs> it's a big blue van. Like it kind of makes sense. We're in the north and we're just cruising around. Seth is, as you know, Mr. Active Man, what's going on? Nothing, I'm just getting uh, chicken and food out to cook. He's also a cooking man. <laughs> we've already done two full hikes since we've been here. Right, Seth? Yeah. <laughs> Seth, hike time. <laughs> We got sweaty, so I feel like if you get sweaty, it's a hike. Not a hike. <laughs> what I want to know from you is if you guys want more, I would assume we're in New Zealand, you want to see it, right? You want to see drone footage and driving and probably the hikes and all of the things and not just me talking. What do you need? Give me the pot for rice. Another thing is trying to figure out how to organize this van. I get a little bit anxious about the organization. Seth tells me that I just need to calm down in a very loving and sweet way. I never say relax. <laughs> oh, do you, oh. Yeah, I want that. I know, just 
What's wrong with it? I'm about to get your hand in the... Oh, here you go. Wait. <laughs> if you want to see the rest of that hand, go check out his Instagram. Stop. <laughs> pretty handsome guy. So that's it for today. Now we're just driving around. We're about to go have a beer with the neighbors and what do you want? Rice. Thank you. <laughs> and I need this, this spatula right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't even need the spatula. I need the other thing. I can use it. I guess. What do you want? The stir? Yeah. A spoon? And, and a plate. Oh my gosh, needy man. I'm in the middle of a video for crying out loud. And one more thing. Water. And a kiss. Thank you. How about you. your new shades? <clears throat> they look good on you. Thanks. Oh, and something that I didn't talk about in my packing video was this, these bandanas. It's like dry shampoo, essentially. It's just to be like, I'm still looking kind of cute, but like... I need to shower. All right, well that's it. Oh my gosh, Seth ordered this um, solar light off of Amazon and it got delivered to my family's farm and got lost. So we called Amazon to say, hey, this package was lost and John from Amazon. John. John from Amazon. John from Amazon. He refunded the light because we said it was lost and then we went out really scouting for it and ended up finding it. Seth then called Amazon back, searching desperately for John, but could not find him, and canceled the refund because he's a good man. And he said that the karma from return, like canceling that refund, has helped us through a lot of things already, which it has. Oh, I'm gonna give you a van tour. All right, people, I just pulled you off this lovely tripod, so this is where I am. This is the van. Woody was another popular name that everybody wanted. But I like Dory. We have right here, underneath all this stuff, this is our daytime routine. It's a table. Nighttime routine, it turns into a sink. This is our daytime dishes that we used today. Then we have up here our pantry and bathroom cabinet and a mirror. These are where the sheets go. This lovely thing pulls up and my drawer of clothing is underneath. But it also pulls out all the way and then this comes down into a bed. But we just bought all, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So this will come out into a, a nice tight twin for a cozy night. Yeah, that's just a bed. Here is probably the highlight. This, my friends, is the toilet. And this even has water in it. Press this little flush thing here. Water, <laughs> water comes running through. Here, eat the rice. Okay. <laughs> I need to put a shirt on. We also have this lovely stove. This is kind of all of Seth's area, except for I took over more of his area. He says I take over a lot of his area. I tell him what's his is mine. <laughs> and look at you guys, we're just camping right here at this awesome camp spot. His clothes are underneath here, and then he pulls this out and makes rice and chicken. And I just... Casually have my Gregory pack sitting here. Hey, I feel like that might be it. Right? Yeah, I think so. Then we just have the van up front or the... And the cooler. The only thing that's different is that the steering wheel is on the other side. All right, guys, see you all next week. Mwah. Thank you guys all for watching, tuning out from New Zealand, and I will see you all next week. Mwah. Bye.